If you want to install Windows 11 on an old PC that doesn't meet the minimum hardware requirements for Windows 11, like this Dell PC that is from 2007 and that has an Intel Core 2 Duo as processor and 2 GB of RAM and no TPM, you can do this using a free utility called Rufus. But starting with Windows 11 version 24H2, this is not possible anymore because Microsoft added another layer of verification. So in this video, I'm going to show you a workaround on this so for you to be able to install Windows 11 on an old PC. So I'm going to show you how to get a Windows version that is prior to 24H2 and that works with Rufus. We're going to put it on USB drive using Rufus and then we're going to install it on this Dell PC. So let me start first by showing you how to get a version of Windows 11 prior to 24H2. Before starting, I wanted to let you know about this disclaimer. First, older versions of Windows 11 are not maintained nor supported by Microsoft anymore. Second, the site that I want to show you now from where you can get older versions of Windows 11, I don't have any affiliate to it and I cannot control its content or the content of the ISO file. All I can tell you is that I tried it before and it works. So continue only on your own risk and know that I'm not responsible for any damage or any data loss or any other problem that you might incur following the instructions in this video. That being said, let's switch now to screen recording and show you how to get an older version of Windows 11. So open your web browser and then go to this site, uupdump.net. In the search box, type in Windows 11 23 h2 and hit enter and here you have all the versions and the sub versions of windows 11 23 h2 so for my pc the old pc i need the amd 64 version so i'm gonna choose the latest version here i'm gonna click on it and then here click on next after you choose your language you have many languages for me english united states is okay and here choose the edition of windows that you want to download for me, it will be Windows Home. So I deselected everything and then I kept Windows Home selected and then click on Next. And here you have the options on how to create the ISO file. Keep everything by default checked here and then click on Create Download Package. And here, let's save the package. So it will save a zip file that has a script to download Windows 11 and to create the ISO file. So let's go to the folder where the zip file was downloaded. And here it is. And before going any further, I'm going to scan it with my antivirus and I advise you to do the same too. And it found that it was clean and now we need to extract it. So right click on it and then choose extract all. If you want to change the folder name, make sure that you do not put spaces in the folder name. Here I'm going to keep it by default. So click on extract and here it is extracted. So between all these files, you have this command that you need to run. So simply double click on it and it will give you a warning because it is not signed. And here, remember the disclaimer. If you're okay with my disclaimer, continue here. So for me, I'm gonna continue, click on more info, and then click on run anyway. And then click on yes when prompted. And here it's asking you if you wanna run the script. So I'm gonna choose R, I typed R and then enter. And now the script will run and it will go to the internet and fetch the Windows 11 ISO files and then it will compose them here for you. So this operation will take around 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm gonna fast forward the video and come back when it is finished. So now the image creation process is finished and it took around 30 minutes. So here you need to press zero or Q to quit. So I'm gonna press zero and let me show you the image. So here's the image file created and it's an ISO file. So before going any further, I'm gonna inspect this file with my antivirus and I advise you to do the same. So here I'm scanning it and it says that it is clean. So now the next step is to download Rufus. Let's go to the web browser once again, open a new tab and then go to rufus.ie and scroll until you arrive to the middle of the page and get the P version, which is a portable version, the latest one. So click on it here and save it and let's run it. Let me minimize this. So now you need to take a USB drive and then insert it in your PC. And this is what I'm gonna do now. And make sure to use a USB drive that you don't want the data on it because it will be completely wiped. And here click yes to continue opening Rufus. 
click on yes so for it to check for updates and here it detected the usb drive automatically make sure you're selecting the correct usb drive once again because it will delete everything on it and here you need to click on select and go to the folder where the iso file was created and here it is select it and then click on open and it is very important because we're using an old pc to here select under partition scheme mbr otherwise it will not work leave everything else by default click on start and here by default you have two options selected i advise you to select everything so i'm gonna select on top of ignoring the hardware verification to create a local account so that i don't have to create a microsoft account and then set the regional settings exactly like this pc disable data collection and disable bitlocker and for the create local account it will give you automatically the account that is used on this pc so for me it is kst you can change it here i'm gonna click on ok and here also click on ok and here also this is another warning to make sure that you are using a usb drive that you don't need the information on here i am sure so i'm gonna click on ok and it will start here imaging the iso file to the usb drive and here's the operation finished now i'm gonna take the usb drive and go to the old PC to install Windows on it. So let's insert the USB drive in the PC and then start the PC and I'm gonna force it to go to the boot menu by pressing F12 repeatedly because it is a Dell PC. You can Google for your PC what is the hotkey that will take you to the boot menu and now when it goes to the boot menu I'm gonna select USB drive. I'm gonna bring the camera up close so for you to see the installation. So with the arrow keys, select USB device and then hit enter. So it is telling you to press any key. I just pressed the space bar and now it will start from the USB drive. And this is the Windows 11 installation. And the installation will have a very few prompts because it was automated by Rufus. So here it is asking you for the language and the keyboard. I'm going to leave them by default. English US is fine by me. And here simply click on install now. It is asking you to put the activation key in case you have an activation key. Otherwise here, I don't have an activation key. I can activate Windows later if I want to. So I'm going to choose. I don't have a product key. So just select I accept and then next. And it is important to select custom installation. So on this screen, you have the partitions of the hard drive. I'm going to select the biggest partition that is on the drive. And then I'm going to select next. And here, this message, it's simply telling me that if I have another installation of Windows, it will copy everything under a folder called windows.old. Click on OK. And this is the installation underway. And all you have to do is just wait for the installation to finish and for the PC to restart. And now it is finishing up all the installation. It will do an automatic logon. You can, of course, put a password afterwards if you want to by pressing Ctrl Alt Delete on your keyboard and here's Windows 11 installed on an ancient PC and I'm gonna show you that it will also update so this is the settings and these are the updates downloading for Windows 11 23H2 I hope that this video was useful to you in case it was please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up I would really appreciate it I wanna thank you all for watching I'm Eroy from Knowledge Sharing Tech see you on the next video